All right, there's a couple different things that happen. Sanding on projects two and three need to be finished. Sanding on uh, project four at this point can be started. It's not easy to keep a classroom of middle school kids on task, but Brandon Lee, who teaches technology at Jack Jewett in Charlottesville, may have found the perfect project. It combines two of a guy's favorite things in life, power tools and dogs. Students at six Charlottesville schools have agreed to work with a new organization called Houses of Wood and Straw, or HOUSE, to build shelters for area dogs. K-Tech High School, Monticello High School, and Western Admiral High School, Jewett Middle School, Walton Middle School, and Henley Middle School. They've all been wonderful. That's Stacy Norris, the founder of the group. She'd seen a number of canines around her neighborhood suffering in last winter's cold. If you're outside and you've got a big fuzzy coat, then you're probably going to be a lot more comfortable than a dog, uh, a hound, so to speak, that doesn't have much of an undercoat and doesn't really grow a lot of fur the colder it gets. And in the summer, those big fuzzy breeds tend to suffer a lot when left out in the sun. They need a cool, shady spot. So Norris has gotten donations of materials and persuaded the schools to help build insulated dog houses. Already, 51 are complete. Albemarle County Animal Control is helping to find families who need them, and teacher Brandon Lee says it's been a great learning experience for the kids, not so different from the job of building a house for humans. When it comes to building the frames, putting the siding on, the roofing, uh, a lot of the same concepts are coming out here in these projects. His students seem to enjoy the work and agree that the cause is a good one. I think it's pretty good to help out dogs in the neighborhood. Yeah, it's pretty fun. Yeah, what have you learned? How to use wood and how to put things together and how to use tools. It's just a good thing that we're helping out dogs. Yeah. The houses come in three sizes and each is equipped with straw for bedding and a waterproof flap over the door. Next year, Brandon Lee says his students might add some green features like solar panels on the roofs. Stacy Norris says she'll keep raising money for materials and will try to educate more pet owners. The law does require them to provide shelter for their dogs and to be sure water bowls don't freeze, putting the animals at risk for dehydration. Sandy Hausman, WVTF News. There's a couple different things that happen. Sanding on projects two and three need to be finished. Sanding on uh, project four at this point can be started. It's not easy to keep a classroom of middle school kids on task, but Brandon Lee, who teaches technology at Jack Jewett in Charlottesville, may have found the perfect project. It combines two of a guy's favorite things in life, power tools and dogs. Students at six Charlottesville schools have agreed to work with a new organization called Houses of Wood and Straw, or HOUSE, 